Bonjour, aujourd'hui nous allons parler de l'accord de l'adjectif en français. Adjective agreement in French. May I ask you to take some notes as you watch this video, pause whenever you need it, and be ready to ask questions to your teachers when you see them. So what is an adjective? Well, it's something that allows you to give characteristics to a noun. Okay? And I see it more or less as a outfit and that's uh, got lots of accessories okay? and all the accessories have the same color and that's what, what could be the gender and the number of the noun. Now in French adjectives can be regular or irregular and we're going to see how they change. So let's start with the easy ones. Uh, regular adjectives from masculine to feminine. As a general rule you just add an e at the end of the adjective. Okay, So uh, un petit garçon would become une petite fille. Un grand garçon would become une grande fille. If the adjective already ends in an E, then you just don't do anything. You just leave it as it is. Une petite fille adorable. Okay? Un petit garçon adorable. Une petite fille adorable. So nothing changes here. Now we're moving on to the irregular adjectives. And I strongly advise you to take a pause and take in what this table, because it's quite complicated. As you can see, there are many endings, okay? O, A, L, N, R, E, E, R, E, um, to start with, and then F, G, IF, IL, or I, ON, OU, OU, et nothing, you don't actually hear that one. Um, so depending on the verb and the adjective ending, sorry, in the masculine form, feminine form will change accordingly. I've given you lots of examples to uh, start practicing. Please take a minute to uh, have a look at them. Pause if you need it. Now, there are, of course, more even more exceptions to these. So I've added a few uh, lists. You already know blanc becomes blanche. Okay, doux becomes douce. Faux becomes fausse. Favori becomes favorite. Frais becomes fresh, franc becomes franche, grec becomes grec, long becomes longue, malin maligne, nul nul, public public, sec sèche, vieux vieille, violet violette. Okay, so think about the uh, silent consonant at the end of the adjective. What about the plural? Will you say? Well, most adjectives will just add an S at the end, okay? So, des petites filles. But be careful, uh, the adjectives that end in O, AU, and EAU will take an X. Far from bancal, banal, fatal, natal, and naval, which take an S. But to be fair, you're not going to encounter those very often. So, for instance, un beau garçon becomes deux beaux garçons. Now, it's time for you to practice. Uh, you have seen some of these sentences in the past, uh, or they may be new to you. Uh, read them, pause now, do these exercises in your book, and then the um, correction comes after. So take the time, pause, do these exercises in your book, and then you can check them out. And here are the answers. À l'adolescence, il y a souvent des conflits familiaux. De nombreuses femmes célibataires élèvent leurs enfants seules. L'ambiance chez moi est toujours chaleureuse. Les foyers monoparentaux se multiplient. Ma mère est très compréhensive. Ses garçons sont très timides. Mes cousins sont très amicaux. Elle est très heureuse dans son nouveau couple. Les banlieues résidentielles sont très agréables. Okay. So this is it. I hope this, you found this useful. Please do not hesitate to ask questions from your teachers if you have any queries. Au revoir.